Okay, here's a better game. Um, again, I'm trying to improve, so we'll see what improvements I've made. So, so first of all, never forget that you always have time for good luck, have fun after you build your first SCV. Even with the Zerg, when you have to, you start you select your drones, put them on the minerals, select your building, build the drone, select your overlord, and scout. After you've done that, you still have time for a good luck, have fun before you have to build your second one. That's for Terran, all you have to do is just go uh, minerals, put them on the minerals, click your building, S. Of course, when I click your building, you also hotkey it at the same time. So, uh, for example, uh, Mr. Terran's put his base on one. Not the best hotkey, I admit. Uh, I often forget to hockey my hatchery until much, much too late. Let's see, when do I remember? When do I remember? I've already sent out a scouted drone. Scouting, very important. That's the first thing I've tried to improve. This map is not my favorite map. Not my least favorite either, but um. relatively shitty map. Have I hot gated? Yeah. I put my hatchery on 4 and 5 because I get spammy. And down goes my spawning pool. On time. Better timing this time. And refinery. And uh, we've got a wall off, but not a perfect wall off. Still room for a drony drone there. Down comes my overlord. At this stage I've scouted all of them, so overlord here. I think I tell him to change direction so he's not instantly seen. Yep, there's me selecting him and moving him. God, how awesome am I? As you can see, I've queued up to move there. I'll use him for scouting information a little later. So as of right now, I know Jackal. I know he's down here by process of elimination. And now I know that he's got a Marine out. Oh, uh, drone nearly dead. So I go extractor and I'm just gonna gas steal. But at the same time, your drone should be healing. But um, as we can see, he's bu consta building marines. And so now I know he's two barracks, no factory as yet. Actually, I come back up to have a look. He's getting his orbitable command, so I know he'll be, economy wise, he'll be good. So I just came straight back into it and there he is. Now, I should have seen, with that amount of marines, I should have known that some pressure was a coming, But I couldn't have been sure. And I don't have sight with the Overlord there. I know the two barracks are there, but all I know here is he hasn't moved anything out. You can see the blood stain from my drone just fading away slowly. But, um, meanwhile, spoilers, he's moved out with an SCV and six marines. So it looks like he's going to put on some pressure. So we'll see how I cope with that. Luckily, I have a scouting overlord here. I don't think he can see it as yet. So he doesn't know that I can see him. So how am I reacting? I can see that that's gone there. So I've cancelled my proposed expansion. I've pulled back my links that I was going to put on the tower. I'm planning to build a spine crawler or two. In fact, up goes one crawler. And I should later select him and build another spine crawler. I'm building links because that's all I have. Uh, since it's heavy marine pressure, I wanted to build a baneling nest. Now I don't know where he is. I know I had to move my overlord slightly so it didn't get killed when they get the vision. So I um, I don't know that he's building a bunker at this point. But uh, yeah, he's building a bunker. So I'm just trying to hold off. If he had pu came, come in and put some pressure on, I think I still would have dealt with it. You know what? These are enough links to deal with those marines. I should have pushed out. But instead I took it very cautiously, as you can see. He's building almost at the bottom of my ramp. F probably f don't know whether he's forgetting or neglecting the fact that he won't have vision up. So he's probably going to switch tech to something else. And he's building a factory now. Uh, again, I don't have vision of that. But you can reasonably assume that they're going to switch to something. So I thought, I'll be sneaky. I'll get banelings for the bust out. And I will get a lair eventually. And a spire for some mute harass. So that's what I was thinking now. At the moment I'm getting vision. 
I can see that he's got one bunker up, second bunker is coming up. I don't know whether he's rallying marines. Can I, s I think I could see that he was rallying marines, yes. Uh, he's also moving over here, what's this all about? Oh, he's scouting. He is scouting for proxies. That is good. I've been trying to do that lately. But, um, yeah, two full bunkers. I'm trying to get my creep spread up so I can get these puppies in range because I can actually, from top of the ramp, I think I can range these bunkers. At least that was my thought. Out come the mainlings. They're ready for the splashy splash. Pooping out tumors. Gonna move this guy down. Uh, meanwhile, Lair's not yet ready. Mainlings are ready though. I don't think that's enough for a bust. But there's a slight spread in the bunkers, so the splash won't get them all. And so I'm putting down good damage. He's spending his money on repairs. Well, how much money do you really spend on repairs? But out DPSing that one SCV. Two more marines coming, those will be completely full bunkers, and we'll bring up units lost. So far I've lost a drone, and I had to cancel several things. Wait, 375 resources? Fuck me. Wait, 50 for that? Oh, I cancelled an extractor. Hmm. Don't know where all those resources came from. So he's lost now two bunkers. And surprisingly... Oh, I could range the bunkers, I couldn't range the marines, so I'll bring out the zerglings and see if we can make this cost effective. He's trying to build up two bunkers again, probably a waste of the monies. Uh, should probably be s going out and salvaging. I decided to send the banelings down for that. More of a learning exercise more than anything else. Turns out, a lot of banelings. A lot of banelings required. So, I'm still behind, but... At least I've given them something to think about. Meanwhile, I'm building my spire. But also, meanwhile... This guy's got a starport. Reactored starport up, no less. And in terms of units... Mm, one siege tank. Siege tech? Hasn't researched siege tech yet, but he will. He's a Terran. How could he not? Popping down the mules. We'll look at the income. Uh, he's ahead of me. Surprise, surprise. Same amount of harvesters, well, except for two of his mules. And I'm using mine up, trying to expand. I need to spend some money. And I'm thinking, what do I do? I save up for mules, get some get some mute or harass going. But whether he blind countered that or not, I'll never know. He must have, because all he's seen so far is that I have two spine crawlers at the base. So he's blindly gone for vikings and it turned out to be very annoying for me because I had switched to mutas based on what I knew of his marine composition that's all um, again let's see each tank there, a few vikings still mutas would do some damage if they come in about now and uh, vikings are quickly cleared, clear them up though they've got an intense range 9 range. What's the range on my muses uh, who are not even out yet? Or are they? No. That's me scouting for expansions, as you can see. Look at that. Scouting for expansions. Terrans don't do that a lot, though. So, yeah. My expansion up. I've got way too much money. I need to spend it on larvae, spend it on units, spend it on tech. I should get a Hydroden and a Roach Warren because I can afford it and it's good to have the option. Meanwhile, another siege tank. There come my muses. Another Viking though. Too many Vikings, I think. Yeah, look at that. Six Vikings. First thing he's gonna do, destroy my scouty overlord. He's revealed his Viking tech to me because that was the first I have heard of them. And so now I know he's Vikings, and I'm like, what the fuck, how did he even know I had mutants? He didn't scan me. They don't have an invisible unit that can get in there that quickly. Oh wait, ghost maybe. But I didn't see him going ghost. So I build a Hydra then. Because what's a good counter for Vikings? Hydras. Because hi Vikings can't shoot ground. But I was so annoyed that he went there, so I tried to flank out with the muses. I don't know if he spotted them. I think he did. I think he was looking for them there. Whoa! Zergings, where are you going? I had to manually tell them to go around the right way, so I just spit them up. 
Um, but yeah, he knows mutas are coming now, so he's built his engineering bay. And now we shall see. Yep, three turrets coming up. I should just harass these supply depots. In comes the Vikings. Are they going to land and harass? I've got Zerglings there. Not a whole lot, though. So the Vikings could do a lot of damage to my drone lines. I'm trying to do some damage with the Queen. I built an Evo chamber so I can upgrade my attacks. And then comes the supply blocking. This is actually very effective and annoying. So one Viking down to half health. That queen seems to be intent on chasing them out. I should have focused down that Viking. Get back to work, queen. Get back to work. Oh, yeah, Yoda. So building a shite ton of overlords because, well, to be encountered. Meanwhile, I think I'm going to have to harass back this guy. I can't, can't let that go unpunished. My losses are increasingly unsustainable. And so in I come to see if I can do anything. Right, there's nothing here. I'm ready. You ready? I'm ready. You ready? Too many missile turrets. Doing 12 damage per attack. Two attacks. 24 damage? So how many shots to take down? 120? I don't know. Let's find out. Bring up units lost so you can see how I lose. Amusia, he lost what? The SCV there? lost another SCV and a missile turret. I decided to get out of dodge. Then I see, ooh, siege tank, it's good to take them out. So I tried to do some damage, but no, get out. Get out. Save yourself. More, 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 more Vikings. Let's look at the unit counting station, as Day9 calls it. Ten Vikings, two siege tanks, and 28 marines. And I've got plenty of hydras though, so I'm ready. But he decides now. Uh, this is just good positioning by him. So he goes, oh, here's a good place for a little drop. I try to bring down. Too late for my queen though. I need to micro her back. She's gone too far forward. So I'd say I'll bring in the hydras. I've actually got enough hydras to take this off. I will probably lose all my hydras, I thought. But uh, I'll be able to mop them up and they won't be able to destroy my hatchery. He does the sensible thing and stays in fights, I guess, rather than taking off and getting killed because, you know, my hatchers would have, I would have focused them down. So now I'm getting a mix. I'm getting a few more muters, a few little hatchers. Now I'm trying to get roaches. Do I have I built a roach den? I have. Because I s think he's going to do a tank marine push, and I need something to take some siege damage. And I'm not very good with the micro here. I was trying to creep spread, but then I forgot it. So now he's pushing out. I don't know about it. And that's a fucking battalion of marines. That's a lot of marines. 28 marines. 5 vikings. Only 2 siege tanks, though. Which is the happy ending to this story. Look at that. Divided up his little column marines. Or has he them rallied to a separate place? So, army tab wise, I'd say he's ahead. I've got a heavier gas proportion with my hydro roach mix. But, um, yeah, he's about to push in, and it's. I'm making some additional mutas to try and snipe the siege tank. I'll just leave up units lost. We'll slow it down. Here comes the engagement. He brings it south of my base. My new queen is about to get butt humped. And there he goes. And sieges up his two tanks. Looks like the spine crawler might get a marine kill. Two marine kills. Three marine kills. Down come the hydras like idiots. And so I decide, well, sack the mutas and get the fucking siege tank. I try and engage all at the same time. Now he doesn't know what to focus. I need to get my mutas out of there, but I don't, unfortunately. Still in range of that siege tank. There's the range of the siege tank. He's trying to kite me in. I need to salvage what forces I have and reinforce with more stuff. I've got zerglings that could be doing stuff. Zerglings are actually good for closing the gap in siege tanks and then destroying the crap out of them. 
I needed to select them, but I'm too busy trying to build more ranged units. So I've lost a lot, but I've mined a lot more than him. He's on siege. I took that as my opportunity to come in and hit him. And now it's toast. I think those Hydras can take those Marines. Yes, they can. Hydra damage is fucking ridiculous. I've upgraded it so that they've do they're doing 13 damage in under a second. It's what, 26, 13, blah. I don't know. It's hard to calculate. But then I decide to rally closer to his base. He has lost quite a lot in that. I'm catching up in units lost. But he's managed to build up a crap ton of marines again. Oh, how I hate marines. So I rallied my lings down there, who were doing nothing all this time. That's not me microing back the injured, that's auto micro, thankfully. But it would be awesome if I was that good. So there's my injured hydras, I decided to pull them back a little bit. But I need to keep the lings in front of the hydras. The hydras are the damage mongers. They need to be the ones at the back. You know, doing the damage. Well, the zerglings really are for soaking up damage. I mean, they're low health, but there's a lot of them, and they're, they're running around all hard to hit and whatnot. How come more Vikings? Vikings, I thought, were an unusual choice, and he's heavily countered my mutilisks with four missile turrets. He's now mined out, so that's what. Ah, sorry, I'm thinking ahead. He's mined out, and now he's lifted up a barracks. Two barracks. Lifted up his two barracks, and he's flying them out. So, I guess this is the all iniest of all ins, but. I got news for you, buddy. My army is nearly as good as yours. Plus, I can reinforce quicker. So, I'm gonna do some damage here. Take out a Viking. So, these forces are gone. Uh, that Roach, Roach, help. Okay. So I'm doing some damage. It's all good. I'm 1-1. One, one. Let's see. He's 0-0. Zero, zero. Really? He built an engineering bay and didn't get upgrades? That siege tank's nearly done for. He's not really building much. He's got another siege tank there, but I don't know if he knows to rally it. He's moving out without that additional siege tank support. I've got a couple of mutants down here ready to snipe some siege tanks. But it's looking like it is the end of the game back up to normal speed. I'm rallying here. I've got four roaches which should hold for a minute or two and more roaches. This is enough to take the game and that's it. Mute has come from behind, sniped siege tank and that is it. His all-in has failed. I type GG in just in time and he has left the game. So there his barracks had more siege tanks incoming, but he just didn't have the economy. He needed to secure his expansion. Don't one base too hard, people. That is the lesson.